What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very special video. About a month ago, I asked my friends at Porsche Sweden if they had a 992 manual I could borrow for a few days. And when I saw the reply to my email, I was blown away. This is a one of one Porsche 911 Carrera S equipped with a manual seven speed transmission finished in this wonderful PTS Brewster green color and topped off with about 40,000 euros worth of Porsche exclusive manufacture optional extras. But before I show you around this car and trust me, some of the detail work on this example is incredible. This is first and foremost a 911 and its main purpose is to be driven hard. You've already seen a review on my channel of the 992 Carrera S, so I won't go into too much detail about the handling of this car, but I do have to point out something. I can't believe the engine fitted to this car is turbocharged. I just can't. Power delivery is so smooth and there's no spikes throughout the rev range. It's so refreshing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my M2 competition, but whenever I put my foot down, the back is all over the place and the rear wheels are struggling with traction, sometimes even in third gear. It's fun, but sometimes you just want to be able to floor the throttle and the back wheels to be able to put all the power down and just get on with it. As I pointed out in the beginning of the video, this is not an ordinary Porsche spec. I dare you to go to an online Porsche configurator and pick this color. You can't, and that's because Porsche Exclusive Manufacture is the German company's special request program in simple terms. And with this program, Porsche is not only able to provide you with special paint colors, like this one, custom stitching and one-of-a-kind leather upholsteries for your car, but sometimes they even produce some pretty special and, as you might imagine, quite rare machines. The 997 Speedster, the very cool 911 Sport classic from 2009 and more recently the quite gold Turbo S exclusive are just some of the cars produced by this department. Now let me show you this quite custom 911 and then we'll hit the road again and I'll tell you all about that fabulous manual transmission. As you can probably tell by the spec, this car was built as a tribute to the original 911 that rolled off the production line in 64, if I remember correctly. And even though it might look a bit similar to the one millionth 911 that Porsche, the big company, built, as you're going to see, the devil is in the details in this one. Now, let me first walk you through the regular options that this car has, and then I'm going to show you the exclusive ones. So, this is a Carrera S. It features a 3-liter twin-turbocharged engine at the back, of course. This is a 911. That can produce 450 horsepower and 530 newton meters of torque. It's rear-wheel drive and in the middle it has a 7-speed manual transmission. This car also features the Sport Chrono Pack, which gets you the dynamic engine mounts and mechanical limited slip differential at the back and driving modes that you can switch by that toggle on the steering wheel. Porsche Active Suspension Management is also an option, lowering the car by 10 mm and Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control, adaptive dampers in Porsche Talk. Then we have rear wheel steering, a 90 liter fuel tank and adaptive Porsche LED Matrix headlights at the front. On the inside you have the 18-way adjustable seats, 
a sunroof, the quite awesome GT steering wheel and an Alcantara roofline. But that's it for the standard options. Now let me show you the exclusive ones. First off you have the two-tone leather that's wrapping the seats, both the front ones and the back ones, and this quite cool contrast stitching that's all over this car. The stitching is not white as you might think at first, it's a shade that's called pebble grey and it looks absolutely fantastic in contrast with the black leather and all the other details. Then you have the Porsche logos embedded into the headrest, which is a quite cool detail. And just look at the amount of extra leather in here that you don't normally get on a standard 911. There's some leather on the steering column near the central venting system over here, on the fuse boxes down there. And you can even find leather on that panel next to the door seals. It's absolutely amazing and of course all the leather that I've just told you about has its very own contrast stitching, of course. And to go with the whole pebble grey contrast stitching you have the rev counter in the middle over here and the sport chrono clock both finished in white. Other than that we have some very cool Paldao wood accents on the dashboard, on the center console here and on the doors. Then the seat belt mounting points up top over here, they're also in Alcantara, usually they're just plastic. And even the sun visors are fully dressed in Alcantara. And yeah, that pretty much sums up the interior, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the most expensive exclusive option on this 911 is its color. It's not Irish green, as you might think, it's a 9,000 euro optional extra and it's called Brewster Green. And rumors have it that he was one of Ferry Porsche's favorite color and he even had it on one of his 911s. Continuing the old school theme, you have these gorgeous Carrera exclusive alloys painted in silver, 20 inches at the front, 21 inches at the back. Chrome surroundings on the windows, you don't see those often anymore, right? And even the sports exhaust at the back has chrome tips. Now let me show you these wing mirrors. Now usually when you want the wing mirrors to be painted in a different color than the body, that means only the top part over here is going to be painted in the color of your choosing. But in this case, because this is a Porsche exclusive manufacture option, the entire wing mirror is painted in silver, as you can see here. Not only that, but this part over here, the mounting, I don't know what you call it, mounting element that keeps the wing mirror on the car, is usually a black plastic part. But in this case, as you can see, it's painted in the same color as the body of the car. And that kind of makes it feel like the wing mirrors are floating if you see the car from far away, which is quite cool detail. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but there's no window tints on this car, just like back in the day, right? And to complete this walk around, I've saved some tiny details to show you at the end, but they're quite significant in the overall theme of the car. First off, you have the 911 logo at the back, painted in gold. When you open the doors, the Porsche logo gets projected onto the asphalt. Then you have the black brake calipers and even the key of the car is wrapped in leather. So as you can tell, there's endless options you can go for in the exclusive manufacture program with Porsche and whoever built this car is a true Porsche connoisseur because every single detail that's gone into building this theme of this 911 goes perfectly together so job well done Porsche Sweden job very well done I'm loving this spec now the main purpose of me driving this car is of course the manual transmission here in the middle and before I tell you how this car feels like with a manual gearbox here's some specs 
This is a seven speed box and you can only fit it to the Carrera S and 4S, not the base car. And Porsche's reasoning for this is that they only want to fit the manual transmission to their best selling models. So there you go. It's a free option, the manual transmission. It's not cheaper than the PDK like it was in the previous version. But when you tick the box, you also get the Sport Chrono pack included. And that gets you dynamic engine mounts, a mechanical limited slip differential at the back, this nice clock over here, and this dial for the driving mode. The car is gonna be 35 kilograms lighter than the PDK version, and the north 100 kilometers per hour time is gonna be slower, around one second slower compared to the PDK, but who cares about that because the only reason why you would buy a manual 911 is for a more exciting and involving driving experience. And this car delivers exactly that. This is the best manual transmission fitted to a car. There, I said it. It's very easy to operate, the clutch is light, the shifts are direct and very precise. And just look how close the gear lever is to the steering wheel, allow you to quickly access one or the other when you're driving in a sporty manner. Even the auto bleep function is excellent with this transmission. It's like this gearbox senses your next move and then prepares for it. That's how smooth and direct it is to go from one gear to another. It's absolutely a joy to use. Upshift, downshift, it doesn't matter. It's absolutely sensational. I'm so glad Porsche isn't just throwing whatever gearbox it has in this 911 and they actually put in the effort to deliver a great driving experience. Even putting in the seventh ratio is not really a gimmick. It's a well thought out move from Porsche. It's quite good for highway driving as it keeps the revs down and obviously the noise levels down but it also improves the fuel economy on longer runs. For example, you can drive this car at 2000 RPMs in seventh gear on the highway, and you're already doing 125 kilometers per hour. So it's absolutely perfect for just cruising around. However, it does suffer from the same issue as the Cayman, meaning the gear ratios are too long. <laughs> it's the same story as in my Cayman GTS video, you can actually reach 120 kilometers per hour in second gear before reaching the red line. But you know what, in this particular spec, you can't really fit a PDK. It just wouldn't work. So 911 fans, fear not. The manual 992-911 is just as good as the PDK version, if not better. But that's been it for today's video, my friends. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Porsche Sweden for trusting me with this custom-made masterpiece that they have. I really, truly appreciate that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come.